NVIDIA has just released a new paper that is going to absolutely supercharge your stable diffusion outputs. The new paper called Align Your Steps dives into the sampling process of each step when creating images with stable diffusion. The result, that you're able to generate better images in half the number of steps, meaning you can use this technique with your existing models. No new models required. So if there's a model that doesn't have a turbo or lightning version, this is the best way to go. Even better, it's already been implemented into Comfy UI. And before I forget, if you find these kind of videos helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe and click the bell icon if you want to stay notified of new videos. And with that, let's get plugged in. Okay, so here's the paper from NVIDIA called Align Your Steps, Optimizing Sampling Schedules in Diffusion Models. I'm not going to spend too long on the paper because I know you guys want to dive into Comfy, but let's have a quick look at what's going on. Essentially what they're doing, which I described earlier, is looking at the sampling process and optimizing what happens in each step. Here are a couple of examples that they've presented from Stable Diffusion 1.5. And we can see here fidelity on the third column, AYS, is significantly better. The first one is using Dream Shaper 8. And we can see here that the fidelity and the level of detail when you zoom in is tremendous. Diving in a little deeper, we look at these landscape shots. And again, with 1.5, it's a huge improvement. And if we look here at Stable Diffusion, we can see that while there is an improvement, it is a little bit more muted. The big improvements are actually coming from the prompt adherence. If we look at this particular prompt, tiger in construction gear perched on aged wooden docks. Formidable, curious tiger on the waterfront. Textured, vibrant, etc, etc. If we look at the first two images, we do see a tiger on a dock, but they're not wearing any construction gear. Whereas on the third one, not only does the image look better, but the tiger is following the prompt, he's wearing the construction gear. Scrolling down, if we look at these Studio Ghibli houses, the third one still has some of the artifacting that you get from Stable Diffusion, but it's a lot less obvious. It looks more like a painted house compared to, for example, the first one where you can definitely see that there's a lot of issues. There's a lot more examples here in the NVIDIA paper. They've also got some examples of video and we can see here with Stable Diffusion video where once again, there's a lot less weirdness happening in the video. So this could be a massive improvement in the quality of the output that we get. So diving into Comfy UI, you're probably wondering how to take advantage of this new technique. Well, the first thing that you need to do is make sure that your Comfy UI is updated, as this was just pushed out like five days ago. Once you've updated it, make sure you quit your console, reinitialize it, and refresh your browser, because the nodes may not appear. Now, to take advantage of this, the only thing that you're actually doing is swapping out your case sampler for this sampler custom node. You can find it by going to Add Node, Sampling, custom sampling, scheduler, and sampler custom. Now, if you pay attention, you'll notice that there's a couple of differences between the case sampler and the sampler custom. The main thing being this new input called Sigma. What we feed into Sigma is this new node called align your step scheduler. And again, you can find that in add node, sampling, custom sampling, schedulers, and align your step scheduler. In here, you'll find two parameters, model type and steps. There's a model type for SD1, which you use with Stable Diffusion 1.5, SDXL with any SDXL model, and SVD with any Stable Diffusion video model. Once you've selected your model, you then set the number of steps. Now, the beauty of this is the SDXL model type can work with as few as 10 steps, half or less than what you would use with other sampling methods. You can go higher, but I do find that the returns are diminishing when you go higher than 10. In my experimentation, I've been quite happy with using 15. Now in this workflow, which is available on my website, I have both the sampler custom and the regular K sampler set up so that you can compare the outputs of both images. I've wired them up so that they're both using the same seed fixed, the same latent, and the same positive and negative prompt so that we can keep the parameters as controlled as possible and get a realistic comparison of the two. So what do the outputs look like? Well, for the prompt, beautiful woman standing on a spaceship. The image on the right is what the regular K sampler outputted at 15 steps. And the image on the left is what align your steps outputted. And I'm sure you can see that there is a tremendous difference in the level of quality. The one on the right looks unfinished and could probably go through another 10 to 15 steps of generation. Furthermore, when using people, I find that Align Your Steps produces less artifacting on hands and faces, resulting in less work needed to be done. Regardless, it's not always perfect. So for situations where Align Your Steps still doesn't get the face quite right, I have run it through a face detailer and an upscaler. And this is what the final image looks like with an upscale, all with 15 steps. Now, if you want to take advantage of this, there is one caveat that you need to know. Align Your Step has been designed to work specifically with DPM++ samplers. 
If you try and use it with a non-DPM sampler, your mileage may vary, and you will definitely have more unpredictability when using ancestral samplers, as it is not designed to work with these. Let's try a couple of more prompts to see how they perform when compared to the regular case sampler. Let's use the existing prompt and add in more details and see how the prompt adherence works. And there you have it. Now, in this particular scenario, I would actually say that the base case sampler actually followed the prompt slightly better with the character holding a glass that looks a little bit more like a martini. However, this space interpretation is still interesting. Regardless, the overall level of fidelity and quality in the AYS image is still significantly better. However, as I mentioned earlier, there are still sometimes issues with faces. And this is where, once again, the face detailer comes in handy. After running it through the face detailer, this is what it looks like. And this is what it looks like after the upscaler. Huh. I guess the upscaler turned that little blob into this absolutely not creepy face. But let's continue on. Let's see how far we can push this. Let's see if we can get our character to hold two items. Well, wouldn't you know it, just as I'm making a video, the vanilla case sampler decides to decides to outperform AYS. I swear, in all my previous testing, the AYS bet image was significantly better. I have done one thing here so we can compare apples to apples. I have gone and increased the case sampler steps to 26, just so that we can see what a more or less final image looks like in both. So keep that in mind. Now, even at 26 steps, the AYS version is still producing better quality in terms of the fine details of the image, blurriness, and so on. However, in addition to that, if we look at some of the finer details here, like how she's holding the gun here, it's a bit awkward, but you may not notice if you don't look into it with too much detail. Whereas over here on the vanilla case sample one, the hands are just a complete and utter mess. And the same thing applies here. You can see she's holding what I'm guessing is the space martini, but there's still a lot of artifacting and I'm guessing this probably could have spent a little more time in the oven. Whereas here, while not perfect, the hands are definitely a lot more well-defined. Let's try and clean up the prompt a little bit and see if we can get something working well. Let's see what happens when we give it a little more detail. Okay, so I'm guessing the problem had more to do with my prompting rather than the sampler itself. Giving the prompts a little more detail, we can start to see where the models diverge. While both have the gun and the martini, we can see here in the vanilla case sampler, she's holding the gun as if it was a drink. Whereas here, it's not perfect, but there is a significant improvement in the way that she's holding the gun. And likewise, the martini, it's an approximation of how you would hold a martini. Not perfect, the hand feels a little less out of place, particularly when you compare it to this. And finally, let's finish out this video by testing out something completely different. Let's see how the models perform with a prompt like this. A tiger having a cup of coffee in a coffee shop. The tiger is wearing a top hat and a monocle. And here are the outputs. While very similar, and unfortunately, neither of them is wearing a monocle, you will notice once again that the sharpness and level of detail in the AYS version is quite a bit more than the vanilla case sampler one. Particularly here in the eyes, we can see more detail. There's even a cash light, whereas here it feels a little more muted. What did you guys think? Is this gonna change your workflows? I'm gonna continue to use AYS a lot more in my workflows, especially since I can generate images in half the time and continue to use my favorite models. If you're using AYS, please come by and check out our Discord. I love to see what everyone is creating and feel free to share it in the share your work section. The community is growing quickly and we always welcome more people. It's also a great place to ask questions if you're stuck with anything on Stable Diffusion, especially since you can't attach images in the comment section below. And of course, if you really like these videos, please come by the Patreon to support us. I will have a basic version of the workflow available to everyone on my website, but if you want to have the version with face replacement, upscaling, and video, please come and check out the Patreon where the workflows are located. It's a great way to support the channel, and I do my best to make sure that you guys get little extras for your support. Thanks, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.